So there are two types of gamers right now, just like how there may or may not be two types of genders, ladies and gentlemen. Like this video if you think there are two genders, just like the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. But you see, today we have Justin Trudeau, right? Justin Trudeau, 8 thoughts. I wanna show you him hating on the game. We also got the homie Nero Cinema. Nero Cinema! He's loving the game. So essentially put, Call of Duty Refugees, they're loving X Defined, and Call of Duty Fanboys, they're hating on X Defined. It'd be what it'd be, guys. We're gonna give the chance to Justin Trudeau. Take it away, Justin Trudeau! And then we're gonna give the chance to Nero Cinema as well. But whatever you do, guys, do not show this video to blame truth, okay? Uh, the Joe Biden guy, okay? Do not show him this video. Roll it. Hey, what's up, all you ex defiant fanboy, simp ass, beta male Joe Biden support losers? <laughs> Welcome to the video. For the rest of you guys out there who got more than one brain cell, two brain cells, maybe three to rub together, unlike the ex defiant fanboys who are dumber than dog shit, uh -huh. I hope you're all having a great day. And even you ex defiant yeah. fanboys, I know you're gonna get mad this video. Make sure you hit that dislike button right now. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so angry. Someone on the internet is talking trash about a video game that I have nothing to do with and never made but I really liked a lot and when someone okay. insults a video game that I like I take it personal I get yeah. upset because yeah. I'm a little whiny <laughs> small pee pee but even you have been a male. Okay, that on this one he's true. Now this circus like take video game opinions so much to heart. I don't know what's up with like these beta males. I feel like there's the estrogen like spiking up. Now listen, man. I played uh, X Define right initially. I said that like listen, a lot of people are loving it. My take is that I want to see X Define succeed, but X Define is something that doesn't pull me in, right? Like I, I, I was at a point where I don't even want to play the game. Bruh. Essentially, like I, I'm not saying the game sucks. I'm not saying the game is good. I'm at a point where it doesn't give me any incentive to play or any motivation, but just recently I downloaded the game and, and I be liking it. I be liking it. Man. But here's where I'm at, right? Graphics looking like worse than Call of Duty Mobile, Bruh. but but gameplay is way more fun than Call of Duty right now, which uh, I think Justin Trudeau will disagree with me, but it'll be what it be. But I feel like that nowadays, you cannot have different opinions, right? Sick is hated. Like gamers, especially, if you say like the game is bad, they will take it as you insulted their mothers. This happens a lot in with the PlayStation fanboys and the Xbox fanboys, but I guess uh, uh, let's uh, keep it rolling, I guess. Let's get mad together, guys. Let's get mad Blame together. Blame, choose, subscribe, and dork out there i hope you're all having yourself a great day too because you know yeah. what we're just L like the video if you if you're a stud muffin and you don't get mad uh over video game opinions because i know a lot of you are liking x define and the ghost of it is like ghost of bipolar he sometimes loves not sometimes he used to always hate on call of duty but it's just recently that he started loving uh call of duty i don't know why i i, I don't know why maybe he ended up getting like that bbc treatment or something like that maybe maybe that's what it is yeah that's uh just intruder right there guys just intruder for y'all Vote for Justin Trudeau. Uh, uh, that's what Eight Thoughts would say, I guess. Talking about a video game. I'm going to hit you all uh, with some facts uh, that you aren't going to like. Y'all. I gotta take it back. I, I gotta take it back. He will get too mad if I say that. I'll want to sit here and try to act like as if X defines the Call of Duty killer, which is nothing more than propaganda, fake news by a bunch of people who hate Call of Duty so much they're willing to suck off a piece of shit mobile port like garbage ass, desync, net code, hit detection, shitty looking graphics, woke ass, Ubisoft, junk ass game like X Define. That's how pathetic you losers are. You don't like Call of Duty? Good. I don't give a shit. But you're out here, you know what, trying to pump up some fake ass horrible game just because you okay. got with such beta males and you can't figure out and Sh shitty graphics fake ass game ubisoft big <laughs> These are facts, though. Ubisoft is all trouble, woke, and even X Defined got woke skins. Let's be real, it does have woke skins. And, and the stuff that they're doing with Assassin's Creed and Star Wars, yeah, he he right on this one. He Damn, I didn't know Justin Trudeau was like speaking facts, bro. Holy crap, holy crap. Dealing with the fucking facts that you know what? It is just what it is, and that's okay. what it is, my friend. Okay, cut to the chase, cut to the chase, brother. Cut to the chase. X Defiant is dead it uh -oh. is not uh -oh. the game you think it is i don't give a fuck how many views a youtube video gets you dorks the game the actual stats the facts don't give a shit about your little beta male small pee pee low testosterone okay. feelings you know what i'm saying let me hit you with some facts uh, I, I i don't know what you're saying bro I, I don't know what you're saying first of all black ops 3 on twitch just the yeah. game black ops 3 as well as just a regular modern warfare of the game multiplayer yeah. not warzone we're gonna have that all together Let's just add it all together. It's Damn, Call of Duty kind of down bad right now as well. Yeah. 
absolutely decimating and destroying Ectifine on Twitch, which- Oh, crap. <laughs> I think Extrapan is even more down bad. I'll say, you know what? I don't even give a shit about that. I don't have to use that. I will okay. use it, but let's not even use that. Strong, because Twitch is not a good okay. metric of the actual popularity of a video game. It's really just for a bunch of nerds uh, who want to watch other people play video games yeah. because you guys are mentally retarded. But let's actually go to some stats and facts. Let's go to the top 40 Xbox gameplay chart for the week ending last week, where X Defiant should have been doing so awesome, right? Because let's just be real here. It's a free to play game game that yeah. means you don't have to pay any money out there for the x defiant fanboys even though you want to buy their horrible overpriced super bloated ubisoft microtransactions that make call of duties microtransactions and skins look amazing but yeah it's a free to play game so you know what you think hey free to play no one's got anything to lose the numbers should be very big right well they kind of aren't no they're not the number one most played game is fortnite dead minecraft call of duty yeah oh, usual. Wow. the game that's been out for who knows how many years but, but here's the thing right okay so this is xbox so i'm not sure if they're counting like all the call of duty games because on steam they're counting in all the call of duty games like uh i, I believe from Modern Warfare 2022 upwards, right? So Modern Warfare 2022 included, Warzone included, uh, yeah, yeah, Modern Warfare 2023 included. These uh, Call of Duty are, games are included, and here it just says Call of Duty. So I'm assuming it includes either Modern Warfare 2022 and all the Call of Duty games up upwards, or what if it includes like all the older older Call of Duty games, right? Like, so you got to factor in that too. It thoughts like uh, I'm just saying. But, but now, I, I know what you're saying, uh, it makes sense, because Extra Fun just came out, it's free to play, it should have been like, yeah, higher than Call of Duty, but, but still, like, Extra Fun is not Call of Duty, it's not a Call of Duty killer, I know the Call of Duty refugees are like, it's a Call of Duty killer, bro, it's a Call of Duty, it's not a Call of Duty killer, the way I see it is that, it's a Call of Duty alternative, and I hope it, I hope the game does good, man, like, come on, bro, like, Call of Duty needs competition, and more games wouldn't hurt anybody. More games wouldn't hurt anybody, Brad. Like, we need more FPS games, because right now, there is a lot of dryness going on in Call of Duty. And also, in uh, generally speaking, in gaming, and uh, especially in the FPS scene, absolutely. We need better games, but define top 40 xbox gameplay chart when you say call of duty define call of duty does that mean the recent call of duty does that mean warzone only does that mean all the call of duty games from the 2000s up up till now like yeah define that because i'm assuming in my mind it's like all the call of duty games right now oh it's so stale it sucks it's garbage no one is playing it dead game well it's third Hellblade 2, which is horrible, is fourth. And then finally, all the way down oh, yeah. to fifth, a free to play crazy. game. This no, that's crazy. That's crazy because uh, Hellblade 2, we heard that's not doing too good. So, yeah. <laughs> so, X Defined being below that, that is crazy. Oh my God. Bro. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. Keep in mind, if this game cost 20 or 30 bucks, it wouldn't even be on the top 40. It would yeah. be somewhere maybe yeah. in the top 69 because you know why it's June Pride Month and all you X Defiant fanboys are flaming homo. A free to play yeah, game yeah, yeah, came yeah, and yeah, cracked yeah. into the freaking above Hellblade. A piece of crap game that costs like 75, 80 bucks depending upon where you live. Yo, not where, my, where my Xbox Andy's at though? Like, how dare, right? Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. Like, how dare he call, like, Hellblade Sanua, like, the, the the most trash game ever, right? How dare? Where, where my Xbox Andy's at? Grab your pitch and forks. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's not do anything, guys. Let's not. It, it's a video game opinion, guys. It's perfectly fine. It is perfectly fine. It's a video game opinion. Not done yet. Let's go to the PlayStation Top 50 uh -oh. Games played. Uh -oh. Most hours played. Let's go to that. Oh, let's see what happens there. Let's see how upset you extra fight. Wait for it. Wait for it. We gotta give Nero Cinema a chance as well. Equal chances, guys. Hey, fanboys get now. Oh, what's number one? Fortnite. Fortnite's awesome. No oh, build. Let's keep it real. I'm base. I ain't here playing Call of Duty. I ain't playing extra fine. I'm playing Fortnite. No build. Okay. Even though the season's a bit whack with all the cars. Anyways, second, EA Sports FC. Are you kidding me? Soccer. Then Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, then Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, Destiny 2, then Roblox, oh my god, then Grand Theft Auto, then Fallout, then Minecraft, then Sea of Thieves, all the way down at 11th is X Defiant. Proving that the PlayStation Nation is better than a bunch of dumbass Microsoft Xboxes because at least the PlayStation Nation is smart enough to know that X Defiant doesn't even belong in the top 10 because it's that big of a piece of shit that Sea of Thieves is better than X Defiant, which is a free-to-play game. Let's get that clear for everybody out okay. there. 
X Defiant is a free to play game. Yeah. It can't even beat Roblox. It can't even beat Grand Theft Auto V, a game that Dang. came out 15 years ago. Sea of Thieves, for God's sakes, is doing better than X Defiant on PlayStation 5. But it just came out, brother. Give it some time, brother. Give it some time. Okay, so he made a lot of points, right? Now let's go in the La La Land and let's see what the Call of Duty refugees are saying. I, I would like to consider myself a Call of Duty refugee, but even I gotta say, bro, like for the longest amount of time, I didn't want to play X Defiant because it didn't grab me uh, but I still here's the thing I still want to see the game succeed though and I played it and I have to say gameplay is very very fun graphically speaking it's not that appealing though in the on YouTube it does look quite okay but like when I play on my own monitor it doesn't look that good I don't know what it is like do you guys feel the same way I don't know but but in on YouTube gameplay it looks good actually it looks way better than when I get to play yeah, I, I don't know why. To the channel and welcome back to X Defiant. The game's okay. been out now for what, 10 days or so? In that time, X Defiant has received a ton of criticism from so many people across the entire spectrum of the gaming community. Yeah, e primarily Ghost of It, uh, Ghost of uh, Bipolar, yeah. Everything from paid critics and journalists to Call of Duty fans to shooter fans to everybody in general, everybody has an opinion on this game. And a lot of yes, these sir. opinions, I just can't seem to get behind, man. A lot of this is coming from Call of Duty refugees. That that basically just want X Defiant to become a clone of COD and go down that same destructive path yeah. that COD went down just because they want to take advantage of the no skill based matchmaking. It really uh, doesn't make a ton of uh, sense to me, but I keep seeing the tweets, I keep seeing the videos, and hell, today I watched a couple of videos from Blame Truth, uh -oh. and he is absolutely right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, damn, he watched videos from Joe Biden. Joe Biden, yo, uh, Justin Trudeau, I, 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 I mean, uh, Atox, you listening? You listening? Damn, he watched. Ah, uh, Joe Biden videos though. Yay, he might be brainwashed though. He might be brainwashed. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking, man. That's not, that's crazy. That's crazy. So yeah, uh, Blame Truth is loving the game, right? I heard him say he also bought microtransactions as well in the game. Yeah, he bought microtransactions in the game. That's what he said because he want to support the game. He loves the game. He says that he's better than Call of Duty. Okay, fair. And Nero Senma agrees with him. So yeah, like a lot of people agree. Uh, it just happens to be that Ghost of Eight and uh, some of the Call of Duty fanboys not liking it. I mean, listen, man, it's not even about like Call of Duty fanboy or Call of Duty refugee. Some suckers are legitimately not liking the game, and that I think that's fair. And some people are legitimately loving the game. It just it's just uh, becomes like one of those things. Like uh, it becomes like a clown show when Call of Duty fanboys just want to hate extra fine for the sake of it. I personally don't find this game to be a Call of Duty killer, but still, I want to see it succeed, though. And I also want to see uh, Call of Duty succeed. I hope Black Ops 6 is good. Right now, they're talking about banning the game because apparently it's going to have the tower situation. May or may not have it, but that's the tease and that's the rumor going around. I will link you that video in a second, okay? Wait for it. There is no need for X Defiant to become a COD clone. You see these tweets, you see these videos from content creators yeah, saying, not a Call of Duty man, clone, this yeah. would be pretty fun if there was like a battle reaction. I mean, it looks like a Call of Duty clone, but it doesn't need to be a Call of Duty clone, is what I'm saying. And if it becomes a Call of Duty clone, it's not a big deal, at least to me. To some of you out there, it might be, but the way I see it is that if a game is good at the end of the day, I fall with the Call of Duty clone or not, though. This game can be any clone. I don't care, as long as the game is good and fun and it cares for the community, they're constantly dropping content. Yeah, like, I'm cool with it. Like, who cares if it's a Call of Duty cl clone or not? I hope it is a Call of Duty clone, as long as it's fun. But if it is a Call of Duty clone and not fun, then guess what? I don't want it. And a lot of people would also not want it. Uh, people just care if the game is fun or not. Simple as that. Like the video if you agree. Out with the next defiant. Fuck no, we don't need a battle royale with the next defiant. We don't need kill streaks either or score streaks. Like people already don't play the objective enough as is. People want kill streaks so they have a reason to. The way I see it is that the, the people that are asking for battle royale is that they are finding this game very bare bones, which is which it is. Fair, and that's why they're asking battle royale because in their mind it, that's what's gonna solve the problem. But they're also wrong. Wrong. They're also wrong because. Here's the thing, if they add Battle Royale, it might feel like that they added a lot more content, but then it's gonna have the same problem as Call of Duty. Call of Duty before Battle Royale was good. It's not that Battle Royale is bad or good, it's just that once they drop Battle Royale, all of their attention went to Battle Royale. And they stopped giving an F about multiplayer, and they stopped caring about the multiplayer. And that's truly the problem is with Call of Duty, because multiplayer is just there for you to rank up weapons and that's it. 
Warzone is where you just play to... Uh, that, that's what they mostly care about because it's free to play. Most amount of people are there. Most amount of people buy microtransactions there. And that's where they make the most amount of money. So, of course, like, yeah, it's a business. I get why they're only gonna... Uh, care for Warzone and that's what they care for and of course if you're a multiplayer fan because I don't play Warzone at all I you know what I mean I prefer multiplayer not saying that Warzone sucks it's just that I'm kind of out of the the battle royale zone battle royale uh, era right I, I hope they care for multiplayer so if they do the same thing with X Define and they add battle royale I, I think it would be cool but see the problem is that even though I'm not a battle royale fan I'm saying it would be cool because that means that they're gonna be able to bring in a lot more people but if they do add a battle royale the real problem here is that if they add it then they're only gonna care for battle royale and multiplayer is gonna gonna become on number 10 it's gonna it's not gonna be like number two on the list it's gonna become number 10 because all of their focus is gonna be on battle royale and multiplayer is gonna starve just like how call of duty multiplayer all the stars modern warfare 2022 one new map we got after five months can you believe it can you believe it hot most uh, advanced call of duty game of all time this said uh, three years three thousand deaths <laughs> yeah crazy i know you run around and ignore the objective more and collect more passive kills on top of already using the abilities that we have within the game. There is no reason to have kill streaks here with the next defiant. Hell, today we had a game. We we're playing Occupy, which is like hard point with the next defiant. We were on Arena, which is very fast paced. It's kind of like the nuke town of X defiant. There is this dude on the other team who is already like level 70 something running around with a golden MP7, objectively one of, if not the best gun in the game, completely ignoring the hard point he got like 98 kills had like 15 total objective score and lost the game like that is straight up like a warzone rebirth island cod kid who came over to x defiant who just wants to run around ignore the objective and complain yeah. about his teammates x defiant is different than cod because it's uh, here's the no I, I totally understand that i totally understand that but like everybody has a different mindset when they play games i remember like whenever whenever i play battlefield i'm more of a uh, objective guy but whenever i play call of duty I'm, i don't care about the objective Bruh. Yeah. Oh, oh, you guys care? You guys care for the objective? Oh, my bad, I guess I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know, okay? My bad, my bad. <laughs> my bad. But now, that's... Now, everybody has a different mindset. So, X Define people that are sick and tired of Call of Duty, they're the ones jumping on. And also, people that love Call of Duty, they're also, like, jumping on to try it out. Because, hey, it's free to play, right? And to me, I don't... Yeah, it's not a big deal if somebody's not, like, capping flags all day 24-7 and they just want to go for the kills. Because most people, they have long day at school, they have uh, they had a long day at work, they just want to hop on the game, they're not super invested into the game, so they just want to run around and, and just play it. Be because, like, most of the time when I play games, I I'm playing it without any sound, especially FPS games, so I'm watching either a youtube video or a podcast in the background and i'm also running around as well some days i, I want to like play the objective absolutely but but other days i just want to chill out so uh, and, and the biggest problem with x defined right now is that that they need team that's mentioned more game modes and yeah I'm, I'm baffled that they don't even have team that match bro that's crazy that is crazy they need team that match on it Be because that then like people can just run around Free for all as well. I'm not sure about free for all if it has free for all or not. Uh, I believe it doesn't. Domination, uh, it has. Maybe free for all uh, is in the game, but it, it's renamed to something else, and maybe that's one of those playlists that I haven't tried. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think it does, but correct me if I'm wrong. It's about team play and objective play within every game mode that is currently available. Adding kill streaks or score streaks will just further incentivize people to ignore the objective even more mm -hmm. as a way to chase their kill death ratio. Mm -hmm. We don't need that with the next defiance. It works within COD. Kill streaks do work there, but we don't need them in X Defiant. We really don't. The core gameplay is fine as is. We don't need things like tax sprint being added to the game. We don't need things like skill based matchmaking being yeah. added to the game. Oh, of course, yo. I covered yeah. that in a previous video. But people. Oh, hell no! Nah. Skill based matchmaking, hell no! Nah. But I, w I don't mind if it has or not. Uh, I'm whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. I'm talking about skill kill streaks, not skill based matchmaking. Okay, whoa. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nah, uh, I don't mind if it. If it does get skill uh, kill streaks, or if it doesn't, if it if they do add, hey, cool. If they don't, cool. I don't care. I, I feel like that they should just add it though. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? Why not, bro? Why not? Why not?
Uh, le let me know if you agree or disagree. You can disagree if you want to disagree. That's perfectly fine, guys. We're talking video games here, okay? Not that serious. It ain't that serious, okay? I mean, that, that skill-based matchmaking needs to be within every shooter is just mind-boggling to me. It makes zero sense. Now, obviously, there are some things that Call of Duty does, which is fine. And those features should just be added to x because they're good game mechanics in general. It's not even just a COD thing. It's a shooter thing. Like, for example, having the equivalent of Dark Matter within x Defiant, so you have even more things to grind for with your weapons the Bruh. recent leaks have Bruh. proven that we are going to be getting that stuff in the near future which is definitely good some more features like a combat record adding kill cams would be pretty good if you ask me because this is a free-to-play game and kill cams are a great way to help combat cheaters and get footage so you want this to become a call of duty game <laughs> No, listen, I, I'm joking around. I know what you're saying, but if you want to add all of this as well, why not add kill streaks? Th this is the way I see it, okay? Yeah, you can surely disagree, that's fine. But the way I see it is that if you want, like, all of these things as well, why not add kill streaks? Because I'm sure somebody out there watching this video or watching your video or somebody that watched your video before this, they might be like, yeah, bro, I, I want it. Just like how you want kill cams and all that, I want kill streaks. I, I know these are two different things. You cannot compare the two, but but it's it's one of those things, right? If you want this, why not add that? But then I know, I know where this is going. Then it's going to be like, okay, so somebody would be like, okay, so Nero won kill cams. You won kill streaks. I want skill based matchmaking. <laughs> Yay! I want skill based matchmaking. Yay! Yeah, exactly. So I know where this is going. So at that point, just don't even add anything. Bro. Bruh. <laughs> nah, don't add skill based matchmaking. Don't add skill based matchmaking. But everything else, I don't mind. I, I don't mind. I don't mind. The reason I might be saying, no, nah, the reason I know why I'm saying this, the reason why I'm saying this is because I'm not super invested in X Define. You feel what I'm saying? So anything goes. If I was super invested in like maybe Nero Cinema, Nero Cinema, maybe then I would say don't add kills, uh, kill streaks or might have still said kill streaks. I don't mind them adding kill streaks though. Kill camp, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Damn, I didn't even realize that it didn't have kill camp shit, man of them cheating the ability to save a loadout for example right if you're messing around with your p90 and oh, you like P90? your setup right now but you want to try out a couple of different attachments well it's a bit frustrating having the screenshot or take a picture of your current class so that when you try out your new attachments and realize eh, i don't really like those and then having to look at that picture and put your old attachments back on like being able to save certain weapon blueprints or weapon loadouts within the yeah. game that would be fantastic those are okay. certain features that cod has that i feel like x defiant should have but in terms of adding a a bad royale adding tax sprint adding yeah. skill based matchmaking adding kill tackness they can add yeah why why not but I, I i do agree we don't need battle rel absolutely no skill based matchmaking and guys recently there are there have been talks of banning black ops 6 man check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the left because they confirmed that black ops 6 is gonna be modern warfare 2 dlc they confirmed that it's not my opinion guys check it out and i'll see you right there